Hey bosses, Nina here. So I'm actually in this conference room about to get some work done, um, getting ready to set up some automations for my business. When we onboard clients, we need certain information, whether it's um, information about their social media, about their business, whatever. But one of the things I realized is a lot of people don't know that you can set automations using tools like Process Street. So what you can do is if you have tasks to do, emails to send out, um, a lot of those don't get handled by a CRM or a membership site. So you can actually trigger a system to automatically set reminders or send out emails or collect information from your clients. So I'm gonna take you with me right over there to my laptop over there, and we're gonna create a Process Street automated workflow for your business. First things first, let's talk about how you actually get a, an account. So you can go to socialinina.com slash process street. Um, your first three checklists or workflows are free. If you use my link, I get a small portion if you end up upgrading one day. Um, it doesn't cost you any more and actually helps me out and allows me to do more videos like this. All right, so I'm gonna make this full screen so it's easier to see. Now you would log in, you would actually just create your company name and get started. I would set up a uh, dummy account first just so you can play around with it and then set up one for your business. Um, I have two separate ones, one I play with and one that's for real. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Now again, I want to stress that I'm going to go through and show you a couple different ways you can use this, but be creative. There's a lot of things you can do with um, this automation tool. The first thing you'll see when you come in is on your left-hand side, you can actually invite members. So this means members of your team, um, of other companies, but keep in mind that you're going to have to, you may have to upgrade depending on the features that you want in here. So um, I would start just playing around with it first and then go ahead and go into inviting other people. There's also groups. So if you have a small business and you have departments like I have here, you'll see finance, human resources, marketing, et cetera. And you can assign different people to groups. So I'm just going to click on edit and notice there are um, members that you can add to, the, to each group. All right. Now, I'm going to be honest, it, it's weird kind of navigating this because um, it goes step by step. Okay, so next to that are your settings and that's where you can attach a domain. It does say that you can change domains, but I wasn't able to do it. I won't go through all of these steps yet. Um, for now, we're just gonna leave this as is. And then there's integrations activity. Integrations gives you your API, your activity tells you what's been done in the system. I'm gonna head back home here. Okay, now let's go through one of the checklists that they have. When you first start, again, you can get three. You can actually create different folders. Notice I have folders here, um, but I'm gonna actually go to the first template. Just so you can see what's available and how you can format your template, this is a great time to kind of brainstorm how you're gonna use the application. So here you'll see on your left-hand side is your navigation for your actual checklist. There are different steps. You can have you know different um, layers to this. But notice I can add images, formatted text. You can add links. Let's see if they have a video in here somewhere. I know they do. You can embed videos. Um, there's a link right there. Forms. So there's ways to add information for people. It's referred to as content in the system. Images, videos, links, sub checklists, things like that. Or there's ways of collecting data from other people. So this is a use a form to collect. And you'll notice there's a video. So there's a video here that tells people how to do it. But if I scroll down here, you'll also see that you can collect information. So again, if we go back to the example of you have a potential client, you can have them fill out a form before you work with each other. This might be your application process. If it is a client, maybe there's certain information you need, like their website or their employees or contact information, this is a great way to gather that. Notice you can set this up. Another thing that you can do is later on in the form, you can use that data to pull back in. So maybe it's another page and you say, hey, Nina, because they filled out their name as Nina. So again, there's a lot of resources that you can use. Right here, we're just kind of previewing it. If you would like to edit it, you can click on edit on your right hand side or you can run the checklist and there's a couple of other things that you can do here. 
I just clicked on more and you'll see that I can run multiple checklists. I can send a link, subscribe to it so I can get emails every time someone fills it out, um, move it to another folder. The public library is so everyone can see it. You can um, export the data or even print this. Now, let me give you a tip about printing it. Um, I used this as some time ago when I had a class on LinkedIn and I created a LinkedIn checklist for my course. I actually just created it in here and you have the ability to either just um, use the checklist in the beginning or you can use all of the data. So if you look at the top, it's generating right now. This is a task summary. Oh, I don't want this to come up. The task summary right here is what I printed it for my audience, but they had to pay for or look at the course for the rest of the information to download. So again, you can use this as a free download um, for something that you're doing or a checklist for one of your clients, et cetera. Okay, so we're gonna go back into this and I'm just gonna go back. As I mentioned, the navigation is the only thing that's kind of weird to me. Um, it's hard to kind of navigate. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit this template. And I wanna show you some of the features that we have. Again, remember, we're starting from a template here. So you can go in here, this is the text. I can delete items, right, or make it bold. Notice there's links. You can actually format the text. So there's a lot of different features here. Um, remember, I did say if someone fills out a form, you can pull in their variables. So um, if they had an email address or a URL, you can place it other places in your form. So this is a great way to kind of personalize it for your clients. Um, going down, again, videos, all of this, we'll come back through this when we create our own form but I also wanna show you that at the top, you can assign this to people. So maybe every time someone fills out this form, you want to assign it to someone else or actually create a task for someone to do the next step. So after they fill out the form, maybe the next step is to um, review the information. So I can assign that to Nina or to an exact department or role. You can set up a due date. If you want to go even further and create some rules or triggers for this, um, you would have to upgrade. But for now, I can say one day after it. Okay. And you can stop and actually set permissions. Setting permissions actually, again, is an upgraded feature. So if you want to say only your internal team can do this, you can actually specify that with each of the steps in your workflow. Okay. On your right hand side are some of the things that we'll go through later, adding content, adding items to your form. But again, this is a great way for you to create your own items um, to collect data from your clients. Um, you do have the option to do conditional logic. Again, that is an upgraded feature, but you can say if someone fills in number one through five, then um, send an email to Nina. If they, send, if they uh, answer no to question six, then send an email to Sean, right? So you can actually, that's called conditional logic. Based on their answers, you can have the system do other items. Okay, I'm gonna click on save. Okay. And I'm gonna go back home. We're gonna create our own template. Keep in mind that as people run their templates, so we have our templates, notice that Socially Nina Thomas is going through one of these checklists. You can always see if people are going through your checklist and it shows up in your inbox once someone completes the checklist and you can see what's going on. This is great so you can see like if there's processes or procedures, did we onboard that client? Did we get that website out? Whatever it is, you can actually um, see that in your inbox. All right, let's see about how, let's see what we can create. Now, again, I can create folders and tags so you can organize your items. I'm gonna go directly into a pre-made template just so you can see it. And we're gonna type in standard. So there's standard operating procedures. If you're a new company, this is a great way, again, to um, set up your procedures. I'm just gonna show you these. We're actually gonna create a blank one. Um, there's also their featured ones. So you can look at your industry, such as marketing, and notice there's a lot of different templates here. In fact, there's an email onboarding, right? How to create content, all of this stuff. It's just, there's so many um, things in here that you can use. I'm gonna go back home 
and I'm going to create a blank template to show you some features. So let's do blank template. Now, each of your tasks are on your left-hand side. So, again, you can have levels to this. So, this might be collect, collect, uh, now let's say welcome new client. We'll act like it's onboarding. Okay? So, I may want to put a video here. Okay? You can embed your video. So, it's just copy and paste your URL or upload it. When you set up your system, you can connect items to, I believe I connected mine to Google Drive. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure I connected to, to Google Drive. Um, and then there's other items you can do. So you can add images. These at the top, let me just expand this. At the top is content that you add. So if I upload an image, this is uploading, let's just use this, my image to show the client, right? And then I can add whatever it is that talks about what this um, image is. I can also add files here. So if I want a client to download our agreement, um, I can upload a file here. I'm just going to upload another image, but this is where you would upload like a PDF or something like that or a document. Maybe their agreement. Subtask, that means in addition to the task over here, there's task here. So maybe... Um, it can be um, gather your requirements, whatever it is, right? And so anything you don't need, you just backspace and you can make items required in order for them to fill out, okay? So, or in order for them to do it, so they can check that off before they can move to the next step. And there's also send email, which I love because you can actually um, have emails sent out at this step in the process. Now, this is all information or content that you're putting up there. Now, the next step might be collect info from client. Now, this might be kind of the, um, and let's do this. I'm gonna add something at the top here. And I'm gonna actually, let me, at the bottom left is how you add tasks. I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna click on task, okay? And let's let's actually just drag this up. This is what I'm trying to do. So maybe this is um, client onboarding. And part of the client onboarding is welcoming the new client and collecting data. So I want this to be a heading. There's a heading button down at the bottom, but I can also just add a colon and that makes this a heading and the items under it, let's delete this, subheadings, okay? Then the next heading, um, client project kickoff, oops, my nails are too long right now. Add the semicolon, or add the colon, and it creates another section, okay? So here I have my welcome client, here, maybe the first one, you could add your logo or whatever you need to do. Collecting information from client, I'm going to go to the form, and you simply drag everything over. So short text, this might be their name. That's what the label is. And this is what they type. You can mark this item as required. And you just go through and add everything you need. So this might be um, business description, right? You can add their email address, website URL, dates, anything. Um, multiple choice or drop down. So just a, a tip, drop down and then multiple choice. Drop down, you only they can only choose one. So um, let's see, are you a small business, mid or large, right? So you can only choose one. Where here you can say, what are your industries? So this is going to be business size, or let's say industry, and maybe they're in marketing and and tech, right? So they have multiple, and I'm going to require both of them. All right. I never figured out what the hidden field is. I'm sure I can look it up, but I don't need it. 
And then members, you can actually decide where um, you have to share this. So if you've invited other people to view this, you can automatically um, share it with that group or you could send it to that group. So let me just tell you a scenario. So maybe after this, you're deciding, um, I'm just trying to think, um, what sales group brought you into the company? I'm going along with the onboarding. You can select that. Or in my case, it might say, who needs to see this form next or whatever it is, um, I'm assigning it to that group. But I don't see many people using that. Well, many of the people I work with. But I'm going to tell you this. It's a great way to collect information, to share information um, with your clients. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. All right. And so in this case, I can be done right now, right? And what you would do is you can either run this checklist. So if you're internal and running it for your company, maybe they're on the phone and you're asking them questions, you can run it. But what I would do is you can share. I don't want to share the template. Sorry. I share. Oops, there it is. I want to share the link. Okay, so on the right-hand side, I'm going to click on share template. I'll click on share link. Or actually, I want to click on run link. So I want them to run the template not share it. So I'm going to copy this and notice there are link options um, that you can use, but I'm just going to share this and send it out. Um, there's more sharing options as far as sharing templates with other people, allowing them to use your templates, things like that. I would click on that and it will tell you the difference there. Keep in mind that you can embed it on websites, um, make it public for other people to use. But in this case, I just want someone to run the template. So I'm going to actually go outside here and I am going to copy this link okay and so your clients would see this and they can go through they would create an account and they would go through your checklist and what I would do is I would make this link a pretty link that you can send out so it doesn't look so messy. But again, you've collected the information, you've onboarded them, you've told them about your company, told them about next steps. In here, you can also assign tasks. Remember, you can assign tasks for people internally to do things once the form is filled out. Um, it's just, again, nice, easy tool if you need to create some business workflows um, within your business. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. I will be creating a lot more Process Street videos. I wanted to create something very basic because I have about three clients that will be using it and I had to give them an overview. But um, as we move more and more of our items in there, um, I will be giving you tips and tricks. Let me know what questions you have. All right, ciao.